with a little bit of patience, Jeremy right. Bronco could be a very nice player on the top six forwards there for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm Jeremy Bracco of the Toronto Maple Leafs, and this is my story. Jeremy Bracco broke Patrick Kane's assist record. He goes to the Toronto Maple Leafs. My sister, she was sitting, you know, in a different section, and, you know, uh, you know, she was just really proud of me. And I think she cried a little bit, you know, um, you know, her and I have been really close, uh, you know, ever, you know, since she was born. And she's 16 now, so you know, she goes through, uh, you know, what I went through, and you know, I just try to help her through that. I try to play like, you know, Johnny Goudreau. Johnny Goudreau in. Nice move around Hainsey. Goudreau. Wrap around. Scores! He's something special. Kaner type style of game. Here's a centering pass for Kane right in. He's got it! Patrick Kane. Forehand, backhand, top shelf. The superb hands of Patrick Kane makes that move. You know, just exciting, you know, offensive and, uh, you know, just try to bring people out of their seats. Here comes Brocco with Maskerin. Brocco, great toe drag, scores! What a shot! Brocco just outweights and does a brilliant move there. I just went to the Jimmy Buffett concert. My dad and I are huge fans, so I brought the Memorial Cup there. Which was, uh, which was a fun time, but um, Margaritaville's a good one. Cheeseburger in Paradise is a good one. I don't know, there's a lot of different good songs. I'm a big Future fan, I like Future. But I like Low Life, it's a good one. Big Chipotle guy, like love Chipotle. And there's only a couple up here in Canada, so when I played in Windsor and uh, Kitchener, we didn't have any, so uh, you know, I really struggled there. But probably Chipotle, or if that's not an option, probably just a big steak guy. I don't know, obviously, you see what Connor did in Edmonton, it's pretty impressive. Home three, McDavid's gonna take off. They're still short handed. McDavid shoots, scores! Connor McDavid with his first goal of a Stanley Cup playoff. I don't know what, you know, Carey Price and in Montreal, it's pretty, uh, you know, he carries, you know, a lot of the workload there. The shot, oh, the save by Carey Price. Tarasani had the tying goal for sure. Listen to this crowd. Cheer on the goalie. How many times has he done that? Wow. You know, goaltending is so big nowadays, so, you know, maybe Carey Price would be the guy. Here's Giada. His drive. Kick save. Rebound. Price got that too. Two big stops by Carey Price. Clear tape on the blades is always a good one. You can just you can't tell if you do it the right way. Nothing worse though than water and like the gloves or the helmet. When you go on the rink and you're already it's already wet and just you're miserable all practice. So probably the helmet, water and the helmet or gloves will do it for me. I've been the victim and I've given it back out. I'm a good hotel prank guy. You know, get the get the garbage can with water on the door, move the guys' whole room outside into the hallway. You know, I'm good. I'm a good guy in the hotel. Big tennis guy, actually, maybe Federer. I like tennis. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I hope he would have Wimbledon next year, so we'll see. I went, used to go to the U.S. Open before I kind of moved away to play. Uh, just, you know, being in New York from there, and uh, you know, it's only 25, 30 minutes away, so uh, I've been to a couple matches there. I was named after Jeremy Roenick. Here comes Roenick. Back into the blue zone, takes the shot, pulled to the back, and shoots, he scores! Jeremy Roenick, undressed Jeff Brown at the St. Louis line, pulled into the backhand and scooped it underneath the glove. Great individual effort by Jeremy Roenick. I guess the story has it is my parents, the night before they had me, uh, Jeremy Roenick had, a, I guess, a hat trick. Roenick gets it on left wing, has a lane, he scores! And my dad uh, is a big JR fan, so, um, you know, just kind of named after him. I think he will play in the National Hockey League, but he will spend some time developing his game. No question he's got the skill.